Hi, this is Ms. Suter, and I'm doing a calendar lesson online. So today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. Okay, so I've got my month at the top in yellow, highlighted Friday and the 3rd. Okay, I'm going to write what today is. So starting with a capital F, Friday. Feel free to write this with me. Friday, comma, capital A for the name of the month, April. Today is the third, double check. It's okay to double check sometimes. April 3rd, comma again. And our year, 2000, that's a wonky two. There we go, 2020. So now using the color blue, I want to look at what yesterday was. Yesterday means I jumped backwards one. What day was yesterday? So that is Thursday. I'm going to write my sentence. Yesterday was Thursday, starting with a capital T. If you're writing with me and this is too fast, feel free to pause or rewind. Okay, so Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. All right. Now, going ahead to tomorrow in green, what will tomorrow be? I'm going to read my sentence. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Sat, capital S, Sat-er, D. Fix my R. Oops. It's hard to write with my finger here. Saturday. Now, since I'm making a sentence, I am missing something, and that's punctuation. So, watch what I do to my sentence. Ooh, not like that. I'm adding a period to the end. Yesterday was Thursday. Now, some people really love the weekend, and they get excited. So, I'm making, I will eventually make, an exclamation mark. So my sentence says, tomorrow will be Saturday. Woohoo! We're going to write the date one more time in the digital form. Digital means numbers. We know that there are 12 months of the year. April is our fourth month. Okay, our second number, I wrote a three because it's our third day of April. And our year is 20, 2020. So this says April 3rd, 2020. Here we've got a weather graph. So we're recording how many days we see certain types of weather in April. I started this graph on April 1st and I just wrote the date 4320 in the corner. I've already reco recorded what the weather was like on April 1st, and it was partly cloudy. And so now I just made my rectangle for yesterday's weather. It was very sunny yesterday. That's why I put a yellow sunny spot. What's the weather like today? Looking outside, it looks partly cloudy. So that's why I'm making a new section on my graph for partly cloudy. And now I have two days. My line goes up to two. That'll come in handy when looking at our most frequent weather. So let's look at the weather that's happened the most so far in April. I'm drawing a line on the bar that's the highest. What's that one? Partly cloudy. With two days. And we've had one day of sunny weather this month. Now, we haven't had any of these four options, cloudy, rainy, stormy, or snowy, at least not yet. So let's write down our most frequent weather. I'm writing down partly, partly, there we go, sunny, or you could write partly cloudy, either way. Partly sunny has been our most frequent. What's the least frequent? the one that we haven't had. So I'm just drawing an arrow. 
all right? I'd love to hear your weather predictions in the comments below. So what do you think the weather will be like tomorrow? The last part of our calendar routine is going to be something new and it's a temperature graph. So we're going to track how hot or cold it is during the month of April. Okay, so I've already got my date written in the corner. So I'm going to look now at my temperatures that I've already recorded. So April 1st, it was 58 degrees and it was cool, but pretty warm because of the sunshine. And yesterday was 66 and warm. So now today, I'm coloring the square for today because today is, I'm sorry, it's a rectangle. Today is warm, much warmer today. And it's about 72 degrees. This thermometer here helps us track how hot or cold the, temp the temperature is. So we've got cold, cool, warm, hot, and very hot with the numbers beside it. So cold, for example, is maybe in the 30 degrees or anything below that. And very hot is something like 100 degrees. And the numbers fall in between. Now we're going to write down the highest temperature and the lowest temperature that we see on our graph so far. Okay, so I'm looking for my highest temperature that it's been in April. The biggest number I see is 72. So 72 degrees. Let's try this. There we go, 72 degrees. My lowest temperature. And the colors sort of help us out with this. Our lowest so far in April is 58 degrees. And in America, we use Fahrenheit. So that's why I'm writing an F. Please post your temperature predictions in the comments below. And I'll be making more calendar videos soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.